All right. This is the daily update. Today is February 25th, 2021 for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Putting on gloves on the Finger Lakes Trail just outside of Dryden, New York. And we're talking this month about beloved community. And indeed, that's what the, all the updates this week were supposed to be about, and then I got sidetracked. Someone last Friday in the live daily update video that we did asked when I've experienced the beloved community. You know, this thing that we preach about and we say is way off in the distance, have I actually experienced it? And when was that? I think at the time I said, Something like the UU church where I was in the youth group when I was in high school is in Binghamton, New York, which is not far from where I am as I'm recording this. And that was a special place that taught me a lot about belovedness. And that's true enough. There are also two other places that for me are what we've been saying all month is a sign and foretaste of the world that we're building. The first is the last two months, the last actually four or five months for me. You know, most of you know by now that we're in New York because in the midst of this pandemic, my parents very graciously offered to come help with our three-year-old. And then when it was time for them to return to New York for a medical procedure, Stacy and I and our three-year-old followed them. Because for us, we've been building this tiny little beloved community of five people. You know, in some ways held together by a three-year-old who has no conception of any theology of belovedness or community or anything much beyond. I'm sure that these four people love me, and I'm sure that that toy is mine. That has held us together. And we've built something really beautiful together over four or five months. You know, it would not exactly come as a shock to most of the world that an intergenerational household might be a place to find belovedness and community. And yet for us, that's one of the things that we've found, one of the things I've found in the last four months.
but that's not the only place of beloved community in my life right now. But to hear about that, you'll have to tune in tomorrow on Friday. I'll see you then.